Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoilt Rotten Beads. I am Juliet and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the beautiful Modesty bracelet, which I've got in the colourway that is called Bollywood Wedding here. It's really, really bright and colourful, very simple to make. We do it in lots of different colourways and there is a free downloadable pattern by the French designer Puka that you'll find in the link on the description for this video. You'll find it on our website. You can download it for free instantly onto your device and start beading along with me. So uh, let me get everything ready and show you guys how to start off making your Modesty bracelets. Okay so to make the modesty bracelet you're going to need some Samos Parpuka beads, some size 11 and some size 15 seed beads, some three millimeter Preciosa bicones, a clasp and some little jump open jump rings. You'll need two open jump rings. I can only see one here but I have got two. My other one must be somewhere else. <laughs> You'll also need either some size 8 seed beads or or a pillos finding. A pillos finding is a little gold finding that you can use in place of a size eight seed bead. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make these bracelets with the, the size eight seed beads rather than the, the pillos bead. Um, this um, design is by the lovely French designer Puka and I'm doing it in this gorgeous Bollywood wedding colorway. So you're also going to need um, a beading needle and some beading thread. So to begin with, you're going to pick up a Samos bead. Now the Samos beads have got two holes and they've got one flat edge and one curved edge. It doesn't matter which way you're picking them up really. You just want to make sure that all of the beads you're picking up are all the same way up. <clears throat> So I'm going to start off by going through um, one of the holes in my Samos bead and then I'm going to pick up a size 11 seed bead, a size 8 seed bead and another size 11 seed bead. Now if you were using that pillos finding that I just mentioned then you'd be picking up the pillos finding instead of the size 8 seed bead. It's so going to go back through the other hole in the Samos bead and pull your work around until you get a little tail of thread here. I'm going to pop my work down, pop my little tail of thread, and I'm going to knot this tail of thread to my working thread. So I'm just tying a double knot here. Pull that nice and tight. And I'm going to tie one more knot on top of that to make sure it's really nice and secure. There we go. So I'll end up with something that looks like that. And now what I'm going to do is pull that knot inside my beads by stitching through the Samos bead. Giving it a little pull and then going through these little seed beads on the top here. So stitching through that Samos bead and giving it a little pull is going to make that knot sit inside the hole of that Samos bead. So I'm stitching all the way through the seed beads and then coming out of the Samos bead again. So that's how you kind of begin this bracelet. And now it's really, no, right, there's my little jump ring that I couldn't find earlier. <laughs> it's stuck to me. It's very hot here. In, um, in Cambridgeshire today. Um, so I'm a bit sticky. <laughs> so what you're going to do now is simply string your Samos beads together separated by a, with a size 11 seed bead and you just want to remember to always string them so that they're all the same way up. So all your curved faces are all one side and your flat faces of your beads are the other side. So you'll pick up a size 11 seed bead, go through your Samos bead, size 11 seed bead through your summer speed and I'm going to take these down to my work and just lay it down so you can see what it's going to look like. So that's what you're achieving. You see you've got uh, all of the, the curved side of my beads are all on one side of my work and the flat sides are on the other side. And you want to just keep going until you've got about 27 beads onto your um, work. So I'm gonna carry on stringing my beads, come back to you guys when I have got a total of 27 of my Samos beads um, on my string here, on my thread. 
Okay, so I have threaded on all of my Samos beads separated by a size 11 seed bead. And now I just want to repeat what I did the other end for this end of the bracelet. So I'm going to pick up a size 11, a size 8 and a size 11. And of course, if I was using that Pilos finding instead of that size 8, I would be picking up a Pilos finding here, but I'm not. Um, so I'm going to go through the empty hole of this last Samos bead. And then you can see what I'm going to do, I'm sure. I'm just going to work my way down here, adding in a size 11 seed bead in between each of the Samos beads there. So I'm just going, picking up my size 11 and going through my Samos bead um, just to um, join them all up down this side of my bracelet. So I'm going to carry on doing this and I'm going to come back to you guys when I have done this side of the bracelet. Okay, so I've gone all along the other side, adding those size 11 seed beads, and I'm coming out of this Samos bead here. This is the very first Samos bead that we added. And this is my little tail of thread from right at the beginning. So I think what I'm gonna do now is trim off my tail of thread. Um, so I'm coming out of this Samos bead, and I'm just gonna work my way through these seed, three seed beads here, through this Samos bead and through this size 11. Okay, so I'm coming out that size 11 now. And this is where we start to embellish these Samos beads with our crystals and our size 15 seed beads. So I'm gonna pick up a size 15 seed bead one of my crystals and another size 15 seed bead. Now, what I want to do is gonna get these to sit across the top here of my work. Now, in Puka's pattern, um, I think her thread path shows her going through the, um, through the, it's easy to put, I, I think what I'm trying to say is it's easy to follow the wrong thread path. So what I want you to do is to, to see that this thread is coming out of the top of this size 11 here. Let me just zoom in. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I'm coming out of here and I need to go through this size 11 on the other side. The temptation is to go through it from this direction. But what I want to do is actually go through it from this direction. So it's kind of, let me just get my needle through there. You see, we're coming out of here and then going through there. So it's kind of like diagonal. So it's coming out here, but going in this way. I think on Pusika's pattern, that can be hard to see. Now, if you do it the other way, it still works, but I think the beads sit better when you go through sort of catty corner, when you go through diagonally, like I've just done, okay? Put it tight, and those beads will sit on the top there. What you want to do is center them now by picking up another size 15, going through just the bicone bead. Then pick up another size 15, and now go through the size 11, Samos, size 11. I will get my fingers out of the way and just let the camera focus in on that. So you can see now how this all sits really neatly there. So I think that the trick to getting these to sit nicely is, is when you're coming out of this, from this direction, you go through the next bead from that direction, from the opposite direction, if you like. So I'll just do it again for you. So I'm coming out of the top here. So I'm going to go through this size 11, kind of from the other way, other direction. And that seems to make them sit better. As I say, it still works if you do it the other way, but I just think it sits a lot better this way. 
So then pick up my next size 15, go through the bicone, pick up another 15 and go through that 11 and Samos and 11. And something I should have said right at the beginning of this is I'm working with my, this is my curved edge. So my, um, my crystals are sitting on the curved edge of my Samos beads. So the, the flat edge is going to be the, the, the bottom or the underside of the bracelet and the curved edge of the Samos is where you're going to be embellishing. So um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to work my way down the bracelet, adding on the rest of my crystals and come back to you guys, show you how to attach your findings at the end there. Okay, so I have finished embellishing the lovely Modesty bracelet now. I think it looks beautiful. You'll find it kind of starts to curve around and to sit much more like a bangle as you um, embellish it. Um, so it kind of has a lovely firmness to it. It's really, really pretty. Um, I love this Bollywood colourway. It's so bright and colourful. Um, and um, where I finished off, I've coming coming out of this size 11 seed bead at the end of my work here. I'm going to hook my needle down um, in between the size 11 seed bead and the Samos to create a little loop. I can then go through the loop and pull tight. That creates a knot. I can repeat that again, create another knot and then stitch through the Samos bead to pull that knot inside the Samos bead. Pull nice and tight and I'm now ready to trim off my tail of thread. <clears throat> so um, I'm now ready to attach my clasp. So to do that, I'm going to use these little four millimeter open jump rings and um, I've got a nice little neat trigger clasp here. Now, if you were using the pillow beads that um, that um, you can also use instead of the size eight, you won't need the jump rings because the pillow bead beads and all the pillows findings have got a ring already attached to them. I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers and then show you guys how to attach the clasp. Let me find another pair of chain nose pliers. Okay. Right, so uh, here's my chain nose pliers. Got actually one pair of chain nose pliers and one pair of um, nylon jaw pliers but that will work just as well so i've opened up my jump ring and i'll let the camera focus in on that there you go you can see it's opened up i can slip that jump ring inside the size eight seed bead and then slip the little trigger clasp onto that jump ring as well and then close it off. Oops. There we go. Let me just get my fingers out of the way and let the camera focus in on that so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So you can see that the um, jump ring is going through that size eight seed bead at the end and then I've attached the clasp to that jump ring as well. And for the other end, all we need to do is just attach the jump ring to the size 8 seed bead because this is going to be the loop that you'll use to fasten the clasp. So you don't need anything else other than the jump ring on the end, on the other end of the bracelet there. Here we go. So then you can fasten your bracelet. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Um, and there is your lovely modesty bracelet in the Bollywood colourway. Really, really pretty, simple to make, don't need lots of different beads. And um, I think they look really cute all stacked up. I think they look lovely stacked up in lots of different colourways, but um, I just love this Bollywood shade. It's so, so pretty, the pink and the orange together. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Do let me know what you think. And don't forget to head over to the website where you can download the free um, pattern by Puka showing you how to make these lovely modesty bracelets. Thanks for watching everyone, bye.